Have you ever heard the term necessity is the mother of invention? Well, here at Altera Arms in Boise, Idaho, that's exactly how this machine shop started. In 2011, 2012, it was on a napkin, but then it grew in 2015, 2016 with its first investments in machines. But why did they invest? Well, this is a group of people who love to go hunting. And according to what I understand, the competition guns shoot far more accurately than the hunting guns. But there's a process in between all of this that we all need to learn a little bit better, a little bit deeper. And that's the profound partnership with Hymer, DN Solutions, and how this all comes together to create this precision. Well, we've made it inside. I see that Drew actually has one of his guns already. Drew, that's a super sexy gun, I'm not gonna lie. But is it okay for me to trade the gun for now for a microphone? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Well, I got one in my back pocket as well. We'll pass that off screen. All right, Drew, we've stepped inside Altera Arms. Great company, really a napkin sketch. We'll get into the details of that. That grew into something proficient and profound, but I want to start with some products. And I, we obviously started with that gun because sexy, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That's a sexy gun. That is. But we have to start somewhere. And that's what I love about connecting with the audience is we start with raw material. We get to the product we just saw, but there's a whole lot of middle ground that everyone goes, eh, I don't really care about that. And there's a lot of middle ground people who goes, I wanna know more. Well, we're gonna help the people who don't wanna know, want to know more, and those who want to know more, find out how you're doing it. And it's a, through a process of hard materials. What kind of materials are you running here, Drew? Yeah, so everything we run here is hardened stainless or hardened chrome moly or titanium. There's very little materials that we cut here that's actually easy to cut, you know, the aluminums, that kind of thing. So uh, we require the best tools, the best machines, and the best operators to be able to do this stuff efficiently. You, you know, you say that instantly my head goes, yeah, it's got to be the best. And it's got to be rigid because if you're not rigid, you're losing life on the tools. You're losing life of the machine. Exactly. The part itself is not going to have the finish that you desire. I'm sure of it. And I'm going to probably struggle with what I'm about to show you guys, but I'm going to try. And I might even have to put my microphone down, but I'm going to try. And that's this case of tools. Hope I don't drop it right here. Yes, this is a case of cutting tools. The project that Drew is referring to right now on this DN Solutions machine is 29 cutting tools on a process we're gonna go over in just a minute. But one of those tools is a Heimer cutting tool. None of those are Heimer cutting tools. And this has been a partnership with Heimer since around 2017. So let's talk about the products that you have here, we're gonna pull those up, take a look at them, yeah. and the significance that the Heimer cutting tools, when you talk about the necessity in hard materials, difficult materials, that you must have that quality. Yeah, so here we have our receivers and the way they start off from raw material, hardened 416 stainless, and then they get gun drilled and then honed in the bore, and then they get OD turned concentric. So the OD is concentric with the ID. And then we put that into a wire EDM that cuts out that profile. And then it goes into this mill where we have two operations and 39 tools that have to cut this hardened stainless. So we basically have removed seven out of eight pounds of material to get this final product. Wow. These, these tools have to be really rigid. They have to be tough. They have to be held properly in order to get the really good surface finishes that you see here. And we've, out of those 39 tools, we've probably tried five different tools each for every one of those operations just to come up with something that actually will give us tool life, the uh, speed that we need to cut these things, and the surface finish so we actually have a, a solid, good looking finished product when we're done. Drew, I have to reiterate as you have these parts sitting up and you just discussed it, how many pounds of material removal based on how much is left, did you say? Yeah, so they start off as an eight pound blank. Eight pound that goes to one pound, you're removing seven pounds of material. Yeah, just shy of a pound, yeah. That is very important to have the right cutting tools yeah. for that. Uh, you know, I think about that and I think about the precision. So as we segue into the next piece of this conversation and I think about all of the, the tools that you must go through on materials like that, precision is important. 
Also, timing is important. And I believe we have something here that you use all the time with Heimer as well. Is that correct? Yeah. So we have, we went over the, the receiver portion of the parts that we make here. We also make the bolts. We make molds. We have all the fixtures for the different parts. And those fixtures have to be just as rigid as the tools. So we have the Heimer 3D sensor here that we actually goes into the spindle of the machine. And we're able to, as an example, we, we just got done cutting some molds for our carbon fiber stocks. And we had to pull the mold out, realize that we needed to make a change to it. And so we have to put the mold back in and have it within a few ten thousandths of an inch. And we were able to use this tool and get it indicated in X, Y, and Z within a few ten thousandths of an inch. And you can't even tell where we had put the mold back in and recut some of those same features. You can't even see the, the transition lines. Drew, so, that's totally incredibly profound to me. Have you seen the movie Happy Gilmore by chance? Yeah. Uh, when I was a machinist and I put the machine, the part back on the machine again, I had to just tap it in, <laughs> just tap <laughs> it in, right? And I had to make sure it was located over and over and over and I could not get that type of precision. You know how much time you're saving, I'm sure you do, yeah. that I had to put into something like that with a product, that Heimer product. Yeah, and if you think about it, even if you spend more money on a tool, you got at least a hundred bucks an hour that you could be making, usually more than that, just by downtime in the machine. So if you buy better tools that cut faster, that last longer, now you don't have to have the operator changing them as much. You buy the more expensive tool for setting up fixtures, now you're back to, making chips quicker. Drew, you're my hero, man. You're making my job way too easy today because when you think about that downtime and that money, and I, I'm not even gonna lift this box again, it's too heavy. But when I think about all these tools, how many of you folks out there right now are going, well, I'm gonna buy the least expensive tool from that catalog and just use it until it's done and throw it into a box. When it comes to products like what Drew is talking about, um, investing yourself, your company, your time, the significant resources you have into quality products means it's gonna last longer. Something like this means that you can set up quicker do more. The machines are going to run. Am I getting this all right, Drew? This yeah. is the reason why you've jumped into this type of technology as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and we don't cut any corners around here. Our products definitely speak for that. We want the, we always take the, even if it's not the path of least resistance, but gives us a better product in the end. That is so well said. And you know how we know that, or how I knew that when I first walked in here, was when you told me we created a product because the quality was not there in the world that I was living in, which was guns in the competition area have great precision and accuracy, right? But you found a couple of flaws in the hunting world and you wanted to be precise as well. And that's where Altair Arms decided to come together on a napkin script and go, oh, we got this, you know, hold my beers, they say sometimes, <laughs> right? So let's talk a little bit about your company, what you were doing and how you've grown over the years. Yeah, so, like you said, we started on a napkin table drawing. Basically, you have competition style, bench rest style rifles that are super accurate, uh, but they're also known for, they have, you have to keep them very clean, otherwise the components kind of seize up. If you get any dirt, moon dust in there, whatever, they'll seize up. So we came up with this design where we had the best of both worlds. We had the super tight tolerances that give you better accuracy but only when you need them, only when the rifle was in battery and ready to shoot. So in you know, roughly 2013, started this napkin table drawing, 2015 became an official company. And throughout the entire process, we brought more and more stuff in house. And now we're in full production of almost every part of the rifle. So that way we can control the, the tolerances and performance of the entire process. Quality, precision, it always equals growth, doesn't it? It yeah. almost always equals success. And you investing in yourself in such a way, so important. I have a lot of hunting friends out there that would love to know more. And I'm sure some of them already know you because you're famous and popular. But for those out there who don't, who want to pick up their hunting game with a bit more precision in their life as well, do you have a website, social media, anything that we can feed those thirsty folks out there who want to know more about Altair Arms? Yeah, so you find us on... Facebook and Instagram, Altera Arms, uh, obviously a website, alterarms.com. And uh, we have a pretty good YouTube page going on with a lot of content 
lot of deeper dive into explaining how we make these, some of the tools we use, and the processes that we use to come up with the best hunting rifles in the market. Wow, I like that. Best hunting rifles on the market. So if you, my friends, are out there, if you're a hunter and you want to up your game in the hunting world, Altera Arms, this is my buddy, Drew. Drew, is it okay if I trade your microphone back for your gun again? You Should got we, it. Yeah, you, I, you look real comfortable with that gun. <laughs> So we'll trade that on out. For everyone who's watching right now, take a look at this beauty. This is actually for a customer right now. We won't say any names, but this is what you get when you invest in products like Hymer and DN Solutions to help you create the products that are state of the art, that are next level, and help you do things that you couldn't do before, Drew. My friend, you are incredible. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Well, this is the gun show, bringing on the gun show here at Altera Arms. How cool was that to see how it's made from beginning to the product at the end and the precision that goes into it, the intricacies of how it's all made. If you want to learn more, if you are one of my hunting friends out there and want to learn more, check out Altera Arms. It just might be the precision you've been looking for.